Hi friends, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is my first video of the new year and I'm so excited to be putting this out there. In this video, I'm taking down all of my Christmas decor, which is bittersweet for me. I love, love Christmas and as much as I love it, the decor needs to come down because the longer I keep it up, the more it hangs over my head is something I have to do and it's just a constant reminder. So I'm taking care of that today and I hope that this video motivates you to either do some house cleaning or if you have decor of your own that needs to come down, hopefully this gives you the push that you need. So feel free to clean along with me or clean along to the music. And I will also be sharing with you guys in a little bit kind of my plans for my channel for the new year. I love the beginning of a new year because it just feels like a fresh start. I love to set goals for myself for the year. Um, and so I've set some goals for this channel. So I'll share that with you and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So I am going to begin in my office and I'm just sharing with you the decor, how it looks at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna be taking down that tree. I'm going to take down the wreaths. I need to put away that pillow. Not a whole lot going on in here. So that's one thing I keep in mind when I'm decorating. I try not to put out too much because everything I put out, I know has to be put away. My mom has a beautiful home and she goes all out with the decor for Christmas. The house is completely decked out and it is gorgeous. However, she absolutely dreads when Christmas is over and she has to take it all down and put it away because it is such a big job. But I would love to hear from you guys. How do you decorate? Do you put out a ton of decor or are you more on the minimal side? Those faux gifts I actually wrapped last year and I held on to them because I wanted to use them again this year and they're still in really good shape. So I'm gonna store them again and use them next year. Um, however, it does require another bin because they would not fit with the other items I had in this bin. So I'll have to grab one more bin. So it is gonna take, it does take up some storage space hanging on to things. How do you store your decor? I store mine in these plastic bins. I've got color, Christmas colored ones where I keep the majority of my Christmas decor in, but I have expanded my collection this year and I ran out of the red and green bins. So I am, I am storing some things in these blue bins and gray bins, um, but we store all of our decor and, and other items in storage bins that we keep down in our basement. We have a storage area with shelves. So we put all of our bins on these heavy duty shelves. One of my goals this year is to go through all of those bins and just purge items that we don't need. Cause I do know there's a lot of things in those bins that we just have been hanging on to. So I would like to do that this year and also put better labels on the bins because I still struggle to uh, figure out what is in those bins. But let me know if you guys have made New Year's resolutions. Are you a person that likes to make uh, lists and set goals for yourself? It's, that's something I do every year. It just helps to give me a path and just, I don't know, it just, it motivates me to try harder. Speaking of storing things, I am going to share with you a secret little storage area. So most of my vases I keep stored in my dining room hutch or designated cupboard. However, I do have some things stored here behind this chair that nobody is aware of. It's out of sight, out of mind. So, you know, sometimes you just have to get creative with your storage. So I would love to hear from you guys if you have any creative storage areas of your own.
One downfall of using glittery decor, which I absolutely love, anything sparkly and glittery, especially Christmas decor, um, but it creates such a mess with all of the glitter debris and I'm sure I will be seeing more glitter for weeks to come, but I try my best to vacuum it, all of it up. Um, but I wanted to say I do keep some of, well, I am going to keep some of my uh, Christmas decor out. It's kind of more wintry decor. So for example, in this room, I did keep the candles in the window up because I just love the look of them from outside at night when they're glowing. So I kept those up. Um, and then in my dining room here, I'm just showing you right now um, how it's currently decorated. Uh, but I am going to leave up the bottle brush trees because to me they are just just very wintry and they're so pretty. So I am going to leave those on my hutch, but I will be taking down the tree and the garland on the table um, and then the wreaths that were in the that are in the window. For now, I'm going to use the same table setup, the same candles, table runner, the chargers, and I will probably switch it up closer to springtime, although I am considering possibly doing some Valentine's decor in my dining room. I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't typically decorate for Valentine's Day, um, but I would love to hear from you guys if that's something you'd like to see. And do you decorate your house for Valentine's Day? So I put all of my sparkly ornaments, not just sparkly orna ornaments, but all of my ornaments, I put, I separate them using grocery bags and I know it looks kind of messy that way, but it truly does keep the ornaments organized and that way I'm able to put all of the ornaments in one bin and yet they're separate, if that makes sense. So that's just my little tip for uh, organizing and storing your ornaments. And then to store the tree, I use a tree bag. They are awesome for storing trees um, rather than having a huge gigantic box, although actually my family room tree we do store in a box i need to get a tree bag for that particular tree but as you saw in my office i had a tree bag and then for this tree we have a bag for the tree
onto my foyer and ignore the folded rug I'm going to be vacuuming, which is why that's folded up, but I am going to leave these cone, cone trees out because I think they are perfect for winter and they do light up and it's just so pretty. So I'm going to keep those out probably until the end of January. But as far as the table here in my foyer, I am going to take down the garland you see on the table. I will also put away the nutcracker and I'm going to keep out the pillow and the blanket I have in the basket. They are just so pretty for winter and so I'm just gonna keep those there and then I will take down the wreath that I have on the mirror. Moving on to my living room and this is the room where I put out the majority of my Christmas decor. Um, I'm going to first start with the tree by taking down the ornaments, the beads. First I want to clean up this tree skirt because it is full of flocking debris that fell from the tree. That is one downfall of these flock trees. As pretty as they are, they do shed, or at least this one sheds. So I'm trying to... Um, get rid of all that flocking with this lint roller before storing it. But once I'm finished with the tree, I will move on to my fireplace. I do plan to keep the candles on the fireplace because I think they're so pretty. And it kind of reminds me, it's kind of like a wintry scene. So I'm gonna keep those out and then I will store away the Christmassy pillows. I'll be replacing those with my blue and cream colored pillows. You've seen them quite a bit um, in my decor. I use them off and on. I love them, so I'm gonna pull those out. I'm a huge fan of blue and, and white decor. I just love those colors. They're so classy looking. Want to share with you guys a channel update and my plans for this channel in the new year so my number one goal for the channel is to be more consistent this year with my posting so with that being said I am planning to post twice a week every Sunday and Wednesday and I'd love to hear from you guys what time of the day works best for you. Do you prefer very early morning or kind of later morning, say maybe 10 o'clock? Um, but yeah, leave your comments below. Give me your input, your feedback. And the other change that I would like to make is I'd like to add more variety to my channel. I, um, of course, I'm going to continue with my cleaning and decorating videos because I love doing those and I know you guys love seeing those. So you can definitely expect to see uh, at least one of those videos a week of 
cleaning and decor. But for the second video that I intend on posting each week, I would like to do different topics. So that could be what I eat in the day, it could be um, clothing hauls, clothing try-ons, shop with me videos, it could even be maybe a day in the life video. Just sharing with you guys things that I am passionate very passionate about. I love taking care of my house, but um, I kind of, I just would like to change things up for the channel. You know, when I first started my channel, I tried adding that variety, but I found that um, any video that was not cleaning related did not get as many views. So then this past year, I really kind of focused solely on doing cleaning videos and, and decorating videos, but I'm kind of growing a little tired of doing just strictly that and I'd love to kind of venture out a bit and share other things that I'm passionate about and things that I think you guys would find interesting as well. So let me know what you guys think of that. Um, so the plan is to do one video of cleaning or decorating and then a second video each week of, of a different topic. And I'd love to hear any video suggestions from you guys. What things interest you? What would you like to see on this channel? But I just wanted to share those things with you guys, um, let you know what you can expect from this channel in the new year. And again, I would love to hear your feedback because um, this channel, I honestly only continue doing this because of you guys, like the love and support that you give. It's just amazing and it means so much to me. And you guys have no idea how much I truly appreciate you guys. So thank you for all of the love you gave with me this past year and, and those who, who have been with me um, since the beginning. So I really appreciate you guys and I am just really looking forward to this new year. Finally, I am moving on to my kitchen and I'm just going to straighten things up, put the decor away. And as far as my kitchen nook table, I'm going to keep that as is because I love the look of candles during winter. So I will leave those out probably until February. And for the Christmas tree though, I will be taking that down once I finish up the kitchen. I'm gonna have my husband help me with that because it is quite heavy to carry down to the basement. So he is going to assist me with that. Shame.
by the time we were done taking down the tree, I was covered from head to toe in all of the flocking debris from the tree. It is pretty bad. So I need to figure out how to prevent that. Let me know if you guys are aware of a trick. Is there like a spray that I can put on the tree? I thought I'd read somewhere of some type of product you can spray on the tree to keep it from, from shutting. But let me know if you guys have ever used something like that and what your experience has been. Does it work? Um, but I need to do something because this tree sheds horribly. I thought it was so sweet that my son wanted to vacuum. He actually loves vacuuming. It's so funny because when he was a toddler, he, w he was so fascinated with the vacuum and even to this day, he loves to vacuum the floor. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and hopefully you gained some motivation to get some cleaning done or to take down your decor. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you, but have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.